Hello and welcome everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu operating system inside your Windows using your Oracle VirtualBox. So, you need to pack it. First, you need an Ubuntu ISO as well as you need an Oracle VirtualBox installed on your system. So, this is the URL from there. You can get the VirtualBox. Just you need to download it and this is the URL from where you can get the Ubuntu ISO. So here you can see you have a 64 bit, 32 bit, whichever machine you have you can download it. This is the long term support version and this is the latest version of the Ubuntu. So you need to install the Oracle VirtualBox. First you can download the VirtualBox for the Windows and your Mac as well as Linux. So I have already downloaded and installed the Oracle VirtualBox. So it's just double click on the setup and follow the on screen instructions. It's not a hard process to install an Oracle VirtualBox. After you have finished, just open the Oracle VirtualBox by double clicking on the shortcut. So once you are here, just you need what you need to do is the first step is you need to click on new. So just click on this new and give the name of your machine. I'll give the name as Ubuntu. So once you type Ubuntu, you can see that the type is already automatically selected as Linux and the version is Ubuntu. So I'll click on next and this is the memory allocation. This is the RAM memory allocation you want to give to your Oracle VirtualBox. So I recommend you should give it as 1 GB or you can drag this cursor here and also you can directly enter here so 1024 NB is 1 GB so I'm allocating 1 GB of my RAM to Oracle VirtualBox just click next and leave this option checkbox as it is create a virtual hard drive now so here you will create an hard you will allocate some space from your hard disk for the installation of your Ubuntu so just keep this checked and click on create Leave this checkbox also as it is. There are different hard drive file types for Oracle VirtualBox. So this is the basic default type. I'll leave this as it is and I'll hit next. So there are two options here. First is the dynamically allocated and second is the fixed size. In dynamically allocated, the size which you are giving to your hard disk the, for, for the installation if it's completely filled, it will dynamically allocate, it will increase your partition size, it will take up some spaces from your hard disk and it will allocate for your virtual machine. If you want, you can also select the fixed size here. If it is finished, it is completely finished, you, can, you can't do anything. So I'll select dynamically allocated and I'll hit next. So here is the amount of memory you want to give to from your hard disk for the Ubuntu. 8 GB is enough for a basic installation. So I'll just click on create. So your Ubuntu is virtual machine is created. We are not finished yet. What you need to do is you need to go to storage. Just click on storage. And here you need to click on this empty below the controller. Just select this and here you can see there is a uh, disk icon. So just select this and choose the CD DVD. So here uh, navigate to the path where you have kept the Ubuntu ISO. So this is my ISO. Just click on it and click on open and click on OK. So here you have given the path of your Ubuntu ISO. Now what you need to do is just click on this Ubuntu and click on start. So we'll wait till your Ubuntu installation is initialized. So once you see this, just press any key on your keyboard, select the language which is English and click on install Ubuntu. So from here we can proceed to the installation of Ubuntu. Select the language and click on continue. Leave this all this stuff as it is. There are some prerequisites checks. 
you need to have a 5.9 GB available disk space. We have allocated 8 GB for the virtual machine, so that's not a problem. It's connected to internet and leave all these things as, as it is. If you want to download updates while installing, you can check this box. And if you want to install some third party software, you can check this box. But uh, this is, I'll be showing you a basic simple installation, so I'll not select any options. Just click on continue. So here there are different types of uh, installations. So if you want to erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu, so it will uh, automatically create all the partitions on this and install Ubuntu by itself. Or if you want something else, you can also give your partitions manually. You can allocate uh, different sizes for your partitions. So here what I'll do is for the simplicity of uh, demonstration, I'll select the erase disk and install Ubuntu. So, click on install now. Let's select your location, your time zone. Click on continue. Select your keyboard layout that is default English. Click on continue. Give your name. You can leave everything as it is or if you want a different computer name you can give it. Choose the password. Click on continue. You can also create an Ubuntu One account, but I'll leave this. I'll come log in later. So your uh, Ubuntu installation started. First, it will copy the required files, and then after the installation will start. So let's wait till the installation is finished. Now we have completed with the installation of Ubuntu on your VirtualBox inside Windows. So before you go and hit the restart button, there is one more step what you need to perform is, again you need to go to the storage and click on storage and click on this uh, disk which was we have selected. So just click here and remove disk from virtual drive. Click on this. Click on this. We will remove the virtual Ubuntu disk. If you don't do this, once you reboot the system, once again it will go for the installation. So just hit OK and click on restart now. So once your uh, VirtualBox machine is restarted, you can see that uh, it will ask you to provide the credentials for login in so I'll just provide the password so in this way you install an ubuntu inside your windows operating system uh, using your oracle virtual box so this finishes the installation and the configuration and all the things i hope uh, you can follow this step by step. It's not a hard process to configure Ubuntu inside Windows. Uh, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.